there. News 13's Dan Romero continues our live coverage in Los Alamos. He's near the hospital with the very latest information. David? Mike, the temperatures have remained pretty cool throughout the morning and with no winds. It's a very light breeze right now. That could be good news for crews as they continue to battle the blaze throughout the day. Now, the fire is burning back. It threw some of the fuels that were not torched by the Cerro Grande fire in 2000. Another area that has been affected, though, by the flames is the ski hills near Pajarito Ski Basin. Although the fire chief has said they are making strong efforts to save the lodge and other facilities that are in possible danger up there. The winds have somewhat cooperated throughout the day yesterday, but crews were also having to fight the fire on rough terrain. Very seldom have we seen a change, and that's good for us because it's blown it back kind of on itself and toward toward the ridges. Uh, it just, just continues to find fuel, and there's just not a good anchor point when you're up on, on top of those ridges. And as Chief Tucker told us just about uh, an hour ago, he said that uh, that's the primary purpose of the Type 1 Incident Command teams that are up here. Those are the guys that are specially trained to head up into those high terrain areas and try and knock down any flames that reach those points. Mike, back to you. And again, crews continue to go through the city to check on uh, any possible problems there. Thank you, David, for that update. We'll see you in a few minutes. Water drops from helicopters are expected to resume this morning, and we'll also have a better chance to work on the fire with those low winds right now. Now, let's hopefully, I hope it doesn't get uh, too bad later in the day. We'll hear from Chris.